A Vision for Addiction Treatment and Cognitive Assessment with Dr. Tanmoy Sharma, Chief Executive Officer, Sovereign Health Group, and Dr. Judy Ho, PhD in Clinical Psychology and Contributor for CNN, CBS, ESPN, and HLN. I think we need to take a look at what we are doing. There needs to be a paradigm shift in the way we are assessing and perhaps treating people with substance abuse, addiction, as well as mental health in this country. We need to look at how we would assess people. So if this is a brain disorder, let us assess cognitive function. Let us assess brain function, both in terms of the cognition as well as the psychophysiology. Let's look at how our brain waves are behaving. These are things that are equivalent to the blood pressure. These are equivalent to the blood sugar in a diabetic patient. Mm -hmm. uh, we now have the armamentarium to assess these, mm -hmm. and, and yet we, we don't do so. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're not that expensive, and they're reimbursable right. uh, by insurance carriers. Right. And I think that once you carry out these assessments, you can then start treatment. We know that a lot of people with substance abuse also have mental health right. problems. Right. Almost 80% of people with right. have a dual diagnosis, what we call a dual diagnosis. Mm -hmm. So you need to have expertise in-house to be able to treat both conditions. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean by tailoring treatment. Unless you assess somebody, how can you then treat the condition. Mm -hmm. We can treat cognitive problems by cognitive remediation, but let us first do the assessment. Let us look at how we might assess the what we call psychophysiology of the brain. Right. We can do quantitative EEGs. It's not as complicated as it sounds. There are automated methods. We talk about how you might change uh, how you might change people's thinking. Mm -hmm. And you want to change behavior. Mm -hmm. You could change behavior, but unless you change the way they think mm -hmm. and the way their brain behaves right. and their deficits mm -hmm. and their decision-making process, you're not going to change behavior because the entire industry is, cha is focused on changing behavior. Mm -hmm. Why did I get into this in the first place? Mm -hmm. Because my decision-making process was impaired. Mm -hmm. I could not resist doing this. I, I knew this was bad for me, mm -hmm. yet I went ahead and did that. Mm -hmm. There was a problem in what we call executive function, mm -hmm. planning and decision-making. Right. Unless we help people with addiction, improve their planning and decision making, right. we're going to discharge them, they're going to do the same thing right. over and over again.